Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to discuss a very important concept that some of the people are saying that non-CFTI students are not eligible for some of the institutions. So what is the reality? Let's have a look. Some of the articles are here. So we start with this particular edX live uh, article here. The information is published on the 25th Jan 2020 and they have titled got a PhD from CSIR Institute. You can't get a job in some NITs and the reason they have explained. Point is that CSIR are not covered. CSIR institutes are not covered in the list of CFTI. So a few of the NITs in the country accept the candidates for the faculty positions only if they have at least one degree from CFTI. Now here they are saying uh, one degree, but uh, the requirements might change over the period of time. And I have seen personally some of the advertisements where they have asked means in priority order, they have asked uh, where you should have all three degrees, UG, PG, PhD from CFTI or any two degrees or one of the degree means there is a priority list. Okay, so that we'll discuss someday later. But uh, here we are seeing one thing very clear that no CSIR institutes are included in the list of CFTI. Now the point is that when this particular claim is uh, shown here, then they have uh, illustrated a story. Uh, in Jan 2019, a student uh, uh, postdoctoral fellow at IIT Guwahati applied for the position of uh, at SVNIT, and then uh, she was a graduate from the CSIR Laboratory Institute. So in this way, she was not she was told that you are not eligible for the faculty position because your PhD is not from a CFTI Institute. So in this way, this is the information being listed out here. So if you uh, here it is written that if sources are to be believed. Then NIT Jalandhar, Allahabad, NIT Warangal, two didn't accept the candidates who don't have at least one of their degrees from the CFTI for faculty position. Now, what is the truth? Because it is the single article, so we can't uh, means only consider this only. So close it. Then we have the second one, which is Indian Express article. And here the April 24, 2022. So it is very, very latest. And here it is. Pune uh, students protest as doctoral degree from non-CFTI institutes are not recognized during the recruitment process. So they are saying that uh, the recent decision by NIT is mandate that all new entrants shall have PhD in the relevant or equivalent discipline and shall have first class in preceding degree. At least one of the qualifying degree from CFTI is mandatory. Okay, so here it is very clear that uh, uh, the requirement of at least one of the CFTI degree is there. And uh, I'm not seeing it wrong because it is Sunday, April 24, 2022. Okay. And then if we come down, then I guess some of the related information we have given over here. So you can go and have a detailed uh, uh, the understanding of this particular article. You can go and have a look. Then we close this also and we move on to another article. And uh, it is the Education Bytes, I think, a kind of blog. And here they have also written that PhD from non CFTI institution non recognized during recruitment process and some of the aspirants protest. So point is that in India, why we are discussing this because in India, people don't uh, tell students or students don't also understand that what is the difference between a CFTI non CFTI. And many times at the institutions, if the institution is specifically is non CFTI, then particularly they are not going to reveal this fact because it will hamper their admission process, etc. But uh, is it wise? Because uh, things should be clear means I'm not criticizing any institute. There are multiple institutes at different level. But uh, students should have awareness because ultimately it is a question of their career. They, you, if you have a wrong choice at the very first place or at a particular position, then obviously it is going to impact your future decisions in many of the opportunities you are not going to take a participation. So that's why it should be actively uh, involved uh, in these sort of things. And you should get to know that what are the things uh, being part of the new recruitment process and then you should take the related decisions. Okay, so the decision was taken by NITs in 2019 and was approved by the Ministry of MHR, means human resource. And uh, again, the same thing that uh, the candidates applying for any teaching position to hold a CFTI doctorate. So some institutions ask for the CFTI doctorate, some institutions ask one of the degree from CFTI, and some institutions have given the Priority list means uh, first priority, all three degrees, UG, PG, PhD from CFTI, and then uh, any two degrees from CFTI, 
then one degree in one degree also ug from cfti is higher priority then pg then phd and then comes the state government colleges and uh, some of the uh, like your top uh, 100 colleges in india whether it's a private or government so there is the uh, ranking so according to the nirf ranking if you come under the top 100 overall or top 50 in engineering then they may consider so there is a priority list so depending on the institution to institution selection process the criteria for shortlisting the candidates for faculty position may vary uh, this video is particularly for your information please do explore uh, remain uh, aware and be vigilant about these sort of things because ultimately at the very last step when we are applying for the faculty position and then we get to know that we are not at all eligible for the post then it really hurts so that's my point hope you would have liked this particular video if you didn't like please do criticize this video by commenting down below and please let me know what are the shortcomings thanks for watching happy learning